Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'll be covering how to unlock the frame rate and enable G-Sync for Fallout 76 on Windows 11. So Fallout 76 is unique in the fact that it's the only Fallout game available out there that allows you to play above the 60 FPS cap with having to resort to using bots. In fact, at launch, Fallout 76 was limited to 60 FPS, but towards the back end of 2018, this cap was removed. Now, the reason behind the 60 FPS cap is that originally the game's engine was tied to the frame rate. Typically what would happen is if you ran the game higher than 60 FPS, for example, then the game's engine would start to freak out. This would cause issues with dialogue with NPCs, the physics engine itself would bug out, objects would fly into the distance if you ever shot anything with bats, it also made the lockpicking minigame impossible to complete, and the game was just generally more prone to crashing. However, in 2024, this is no longer the case, and you can indeed run Fallout 76 at frame rates higher than 60 FPS. Okie dokie, so how do you unlock the frame rate from the default cap of 60 FPS? Well, first thing you want to do is make sure that you've launched the game at least once, and the reason for that is that you've generated the necessary game ini files that we're going to edit in a second. More specifically, we're going to look at the Fallout 76 pref.ini file which is typically located in your documents, my games, and then Fallout 76. Okay, so with this file open, we're now going to look for a parameter called IPresetInterval. Now, what we want to do is change the value from 1 to 0. Now, what this will do is effectively disable the in-game vsync and unlock the frame rate. Now that the game's actually unlocked, we will need to still specify a frame rate limit. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. Since I have an NVIDIA card, I'm going to use the NVIDIA control panel, but really any other form of limiting the frame rate will do the job. So let's open up NVIDIA control panel. And we want to click over here under 3D settings where it says manage 3D settings. From here, we're going to click on program settings. And from the list of installed applications, we're going to go with Fallout 76. Next, you want to scroll down to the section where it says max frame rate and then specify a value. In my case, I'm going to use 120 FPS. Once that's done, you just need to save the changes and then you've successfully unlocked the frame rate of Fallout 76. Right then, so now that the frame rate is unlocked, we can now move on to enabling G-Sync or FreeSync if you've got a compatible monitor. Now, once again, I'm going to be using the NVIDIA control panel for this, but use something that's appropriate to your system. Okay, so once again, within the NVIDIA control panel, this time we want to choose the option here where it says set up G-Sync. There's a couple of things we want to make sure that are enabled as good practice. The first thing is funny enough just to enable G-Sync or G-Sync compatible and I only recommend you enable it for full screen mode rather than windowed or full screen mainly because it tends to have a bit of a performance hit on lower end GPUs if you've got enabled windows and full screen mode. And also down at the bottom here where it says enable settings for selected display model. Okay so now we need to enable G-Sync support for the game itself. For this purpose, we're going to be using a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which is really just going to allow us to modify the internal driver database of the NVIDIA GPU driver. Now, in other words, it's going to allow us to tweak options that may not be immediately visible if we only stuck to using the NVIDIA control panel. So, to download the latest version of this application, what we want to do is go to the option here where it says Releases, and then download the zip archive here, which is your NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Okay, so that's downloaded now, so let's extract this archive. And we've inside the extracted folder, there's three files. The only one we need to be concerned ourselves with is this one here, where it's the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Okay, so with the tool running, at the top here where we've got profiles, we want to type in Fallout 76. And in the section here where we've got G-Sync application state, you want to change that to read allow. Once again, we can also specify a frame rate limit if we want here. Again, I'm just going to go for the trend and test it for me, which is 120 FPS. Once we're happy with these settings, click apply, changes at the top, and then close down the tool. And that's it. At this point, we're all set. We've unlocked the frame rate, and we've also enabled support for G-Sync. Really all that's left to do now is just to quickly launch the game, and we'll have a look at what the performance is like.
So, in conclusion, Fallout 76 has had a bit of a checkered history, certainly at the beginning when it was first launched, but honestly in 2024, it's quite a decent game, especially if you was a fan of Fallout 4. And also the fact that we can now play at a higher frame rate is awesome. As always, thanks for watching this video today guys, if you did find the video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and if you want to support my channel and what I do, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to see more content like this in the future. As always, thanks again, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye now.